Hello, readers. This is Justin's 52 Books, where I'm going through the 52 Book Club's 2022 Reading Challenge. Every year, the 52 Book Club puts out a reading challenge full of 52 prompts, or descriptions of books, and it's up to the readers of the, of the challenge to assign each one of those prompts a book of their own. This is week 16, and I'm talking about Prompt 23, a book by an author with an X, Y, or Z in their name. And I went full on Z with this challenge with Roger Zelazny's Lord of Light, written in 1967. Oh man, where to begin? Uh, a group of space explorers uh, from a ship called the Star of India have colonized a planet and adapted te their technology to a point where they essentially take the forms and aspects of the Hindu pantheon and the Buddha. The book takes place over huge magnitudes of time where these planet colonists have used their technology to create this, quote, mind transfer, unquote, of their atman, their soul, to another body. And thus they create reincarnation and the eternal lives of reincarnation, as well as a way to control who gets reincarnated and thus creating a karma system. Essentially what Zelazny does is make a science fiction story out of Eastern religions. On paper, I should love everything about this. And there were definitely parts that I liked. Um, I liked that it began with Sam's reincarnation. Sam is one of the names, and there's probably 12 or 15 <laughs> names of the Buddha in the book. Uh, Sam is one of them, and it starts out with his reincarnation. Um, and he's kind of shocked, like, why did you guys take me out of Nirvana? I was really happy up there. Um, so I liked that it created that set piece, that setting right there. Um, I liked Talk the Ape Archivist, um, and I wonder, I'm a big Terry Pratchett fan, I wonder how much Terry Pratchett modeled the librarian from Discworld on Talk the Ape Archivist. I liked Sam's travels and his adventures, um, the fight for his new body, the struggle with, the, with sharing his body with the demon, which I think I construed that as one of the planet's original inhabitants, but I don't know. They called him a demon. And there's this battle for heaven that was really epic at the end. That was really cool. I especially like the idea of accelerationism, uh, that there are people who are trying to do away with the caste and the karma systems. Uh, and I like to think that I get the allegory there, but I think that there was a lot of allegory that I didn't get, and that left me wondering what it was about the book that didn't quite click for me. And I'm sure a lot of it has to do with my unfamiliarity with Eastern religions. Typically, I'm willing to read the books that are required to read and understand the book that I want to read. Uh, but with the nature of the 52 books per year, it's a little difficult, or at least right now, early on in the year. If I work ahead and I get a chance, I may revisit uh, this book after doing a little bit of homework. And I've been meaning to go through the great courses uh, of Hinduism and Buddhism for a long time now uh, to help me with my understanding. The great courses are offered in many libraries, and they are wonderful. A huge amounts of uh, uh, topics are available through them from Beethoven symphonies to Buddhism, um, and, I'm, and hopefully if I have time, I can go through the Hinduism and Buddhism ones. Um, one assumes that an author of Zelazny's renown would, quote, do his homework, uh, but I have no idea uh, about the veracity or the accuracy of the, of the religions being described in, in, in Lord of Light. Uh, I have friends who uh, I could talk to about it, but and come to think of it, they're science fiction fans too. But I just don't know how many liberties, Western or otherwise, Lazian has taken here. And, and I wonder how many liberties I bring to my own questions about it. Uh, I generally don't mind when writers use my faith and cultural apparatus to explore themes in fiction. But others may not have the same feelings and privileges that I do when it comes to that. That being said... Multiple characters having multiple names and multiple aspects left me lost at points, and I just had to struggle through assuming I would get it at the end. And I kind of did, but I kind of feel like I missed more than I got. Another issue I had with the book was the writing style. There is a stilted formal style to the writing that harkens back to sacred texts, but also may harken back to an era of science fiction writing where ideas took precedence over good writing and believable dialogue. And I'm not entirely sure what, which is the case here. Um, I've not read enough Zelazny to understand uh, if that's what's going on in Lord of Light or, or what, but the writing wasn't a plus for me. 
All in all, at this point, I'm kind of putting Zelazny into a box with Gene Wolfe. They are there in that box together where I just need to give these guys a lot and I think I'll get a lot out of them, but that requires a lot of time and a lot of choice uh, and the choice to not read other books. And I'm not willing to make that just right now. Another contributing factor to my issues with the book um, stem from the fact that I'm a big classic comic book fan, uh, specifically uh, Jack Kirby. Um, back in the late 60s or early 70s, Jack Kirby was working on an adaptation of Lord of Light, which was later bought, bear with me, with the, by the CIA and used to aid in the smuggling of people out of Iran. Uh, if you watch the movie Argo, there's a book about it, a uh, very interesting story and way, 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 way tangent uh, compared to what we're talking about with this book, but interesting little bit of trivia there. Anyway, I've seen the Jack Kirby art for Lord of Light online, and while I think the stuff looks really cool, it kind of planted an imagery for the characters that I wish I could have gotten rid of, but I just can't. If nothing else, I get to check off another book uh, off the list of the great classic science fiction of all time list that I have been running in my head. Uh, though not with a lot of enthusiasm or assurance that I actually consumed the ideas that were put out. Maybe I should have just read Riders of the Purple Sage. Thanks for watching me talk about my thoughts on Lord of Light by Roger Zelazny. This has been week 16 of Justin's 52 Books, where I was talking about Prompt 23, a book with by an author with an X, Y, or Z in their name. For more information on the 52 Book Club, you can check them out on their website, the52bookclub.com. You can check them out on Goodreads and Facebook. You can also check them out or excuse me, you can check me out on Goodreads and Storygraph at Justin's 52 Books. Hope to see you next week for Prompt 50, a book with a person of color as the main character. Until then, happy reading.